Prostate health, vital for men, especially as they age. This week in our Real Men Wear Gowns campaign, screening for things like prostate cancer and the symptoms to be on the lookout for. Prostate cancer, two words every man should make themselves familiar with. It's the number one cancer in men, and it's also one of the number one uh, leading causes of cancer death in men. Now that you know the risk, what should you be looking for? The early signs of prostate problems tend to be problems with urinary frequency or urgency, going to the bathroom all the time, waking up at night uh, to go to the bathroom multiple times, sometimes blood in the urine or difficulty starting your stream or ending your stream, or not feeling like you're totally done. The prostate continues to grow as we age. However, urologist Michael Butcher says those who have prostate problems don't always have issues with their colon. They're two separate things, independent of one another. However, people who have history of colorectal cancer can have an increased risk of getting prostate cancer, which means that it's going to be important for them to continue to be screened, even for prostate cancer, after they've already been treated. There's two ways to check for prostate cancer, a blood test called PSA or rectal exam. Dr. Butcher encourages screening starting around age 50 up until around the age of 69, but it all depends on family history. Prostate cancer is a slow-growing cancer. It takes about 10 years before recognizable symptoms show up. So the sooner we, we diagnose it, the sooner we can treat it. Prostate cancer actually is very treatable when it's caught early. Treatments range from surgery to radiation to chemotherapy. Of course, a good diet and healthy living is important for your prostate, but preventative measures can only go so far. Really, there's not much that we can do um, to prevent it. It's more screening and watching for it. And Dr. Butcher says screening for prostate cancer could start in your early 40s, depending on family history. So you shouldn't always wait to your 50. If you know your family history and there is some of mm -hmm. it, get it done earlier. Such a great point because, like he said, like so many cancers, if caught early, there can be some really good outcomes. Yeah, for, for sure.